Here we are. Hello. My name is Barbara and today I'm going to teach you all of the basic Slovene phrases that you need if you're traveling to Slovenia or if you have some distant relatives from Slovenia or if you're just curious about this language. This is one of the most requested videos. I usually made a joke version of this where I would teach you basically useless stuff. But before we get into this video, I have found this uh, study that says three out of ten people would recommend subscribing to this channel. So it is science. Do it for science. Subscribe for science. Did you do it? No, I'll wait. Go ahead. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Let's get into this video. We're gonna start with the basic thing, which is greetings. To say hello or hi in Slovenian, we have several ways of doing that. You could say živio. A slang version of that would be živio. This one is the simplest one. It's oi. So it's kind of like oi. <laughs> or there's another version of that, oila. There are other ways that Slovenians say hi to their friends. It would be kiesi. And then they high five and do the, you know, the bro tap on the back. So the actual translation of that is, where are you? I know, makes no sense. Ahoy, which is not Slovenian, but you can use it and everyone will know what you mean. Pozdrav, that one is actually my favorite, but you can't miss with oi, oila or živja. To say bye, once again, Slovenians have many ways to say that. Adio, adio, but you could also say bye or also ciao. Or if you want to be extra annoying, you can say ciao ci bao ci. If you're looking for formal greetings, it would be dober dan, dober dan. So dober is good. Dan is day. So if you walk into a store, you could say Dobr dan. Or if you want to wish somebody a good morning, it's Dobro jutro. Dobro jutro. Or good evening. Dobr večer. Dobr večer. The formal way to say bye is na svidenje. So na svidenje which basically means until we see each other again. So once again, if you're exiting the store, you could say na svidenje. And also for good night, we have lahko noć. When you come to restaurants or bars, this is the way you can order something. When somebody asks you what you want to drink, and if you want only water, you say samo vodo prosim. Samo only vodo, water, Prosim, please. So whenever you're ordering something, you could always say prosim at the end of the order. And then when they bring it to you, you say thank you. And that would be hvala. Use thank you a lot, especially for waiters. It goes a long way. If you're ordering coffee, depends on what country you are from. If you are from the United States and you want to have a latte, Latte is most likely going to be bela kava. So if you want a lot of milk in your coffee, you order bela kava. So you would say belo kavo prosim. If you want a coffee with less milk, but more than macchiato, which is just, you know, a little bit of milk, you would say kavo z mlekom prosim. Kavo z mlekom Prosim, which kavo means coffee, z would be with, mlekom would be milk. But you don't say z mlekom, you kind of connect it. Z mlekom kind of becomes its own word. So you would say kavo z mlekom, prosim. So for espresso, you can just say espresso. If you pronounce it like you would pronounce it in English, everyone will understand. Just don't say espresso. Nothing drives bartenders crazier than somebody ordering espresso. It's espresso. Thank you. So if you want to order beer, it would be pivo prosim. Pivo is beer. Or if you're wondering what they have in a bottle, this one will be the first one that will be a little bit longer, but you can do this. Katero pivo imate u steklenici. 
Katero pivo? Which beer imate? Do you have steklenici in the bottle? Once again, you don't say v steklenici, you say v steklenici. You make instead of v steklenici, you say v steklenici. It will be a little bit easier for you to order it. And if you want draft beer, you ask katero tocheno pivo imate. Katero, which tocheno draft pivo beer imate do you have if you're ordering tea that would be chai so chai is tea churan chai would be black tea zelen chai would be green tea sadni chai would be fruit tea zelishni this one is hard this is herbal tea so zelishni so there's a lot of in the word, which is pretty common for Slovenia. So if you're breaking your tongue, trying to say that out loud, <laughs> believe me, we understand. <laughs> if you're in a restaurant and you want to see the menu, you say, Ali lahko vidim jedilnik. Ali lahko vidim jedilnik. So the translation of this would be, can I see the menu? But the words don't technically translate into like, something that would make sense. So, Ali, I don't know how to translate that. Lahko is can, vidim would be a first person version of seeing, jedilnik, menu. You could say Ali lahko jaz vidim jedilnik, but it doesn't make sense. Jaz is I, by the way, but it, nobody talks like that. You just have a version of the verb that makes sense if you are talking about yourself. But if it would be, for example, you're coming with your sister and you say, and she wants to see the menu, you would say, Ali lahko ona she vidi jedilnik. It would be a different version of the verb. If there were multiple people, it would be video. <laughs> Welcome to Slovenian. And if you're wondering about prices, you ask koliko stane in whatever you're asking about. So how much koliko stane costs? So let's say tea. Koliko stane chai? If you're walking around Slovenia and you don't know where you're going for your lunch or your coffee yet, these are the words that you should pay attention to. A lot of bars and restaurants will have a little billboard outside with what's on the menu that day. And if it says posebna ponudba, it means that there is a special offer there. So it would be a limited edition item. Like in the summer, it would be like summer drinks. In the winter, it would be hot chocolates and mold wine and all of that or sometimes it's even you know you get a special deal on a breakfast if you grab a croissant and a coffee it will be less than if you ordered those things separately so posebna ponudba is something you should look out for then you have tedenska ponudba so ponudba is offer tedenska would be weekly so tedenska ponudba will be the same as posebna ponudba or in a lot of cases it would be what is on the menu that week or that day would be dnevna ponudba so dnevna ponudba unfortunately most of them are written with chalk in slovenian so you can't really translate it there will be rarely ever english on those boards but you can always just like ask your waiter what does your sign mean and they will let you know or if it is like a restaurant, it would say danes na jedilniku. Danes is today na jedilniku. It would be on the menu. And so when it comes to different meals, zajtrk would be breakfast. Zajtrk. Then kosilo would be lunch. Večerja would be dinner. Malica would be kind of like a snack or brunch. 
So a smaller meal that you can get in between meals. Next, we're moving on to transit, transport. If you are traveling with a train in Slovenia, two things that will come in handy to know what they mean is these words. Zamudi, so Zamudi and Zamuja. These two both mean it's late. So if you're taking any Slovenian trains, get used to those two words. If you hear them on the speaker, if you see them on the board, it says Zamudi, Zamuja. It means that the train will be late. To ask where the bus station is, you would say Kje je autobusna postaja? Where is the bus station? Same goes for train station, the structure is the same. Kje je železniška? This is another one of those words that will make you want to give up on this language, but just keep going. Je le Žni... See, even I have an issue with it. Želi... Žni... Želizni... Ška. Želizni ška. Postaja. I'm starting to sound Hungarian. Želizni ška. To ask when the next bus or train is coming. Gdaj? When? Pride? Arrives? Next, naslednji vlak, train. Gdaj pride naslednji vlak. And then it's gdaj pride naslednji autobus. So when is the next bus coming? There are grammatically better ways. I know, especially Slovenians who love grammar. Of course, if you want to be like a book, but uh, these will do. These will do. I think they will be the easiest. If you are looking for a place where you can buy a ticket, make sure that you find some place that says blah, 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 Vozovnice. Go to that place. They will give you the plane, not the plane, the train and the bus tickets to where you need to go. So, koliko stane Vozovnica do Ljubljane? This one will also come in handy to find out when is the last bus going to where you need to go. Gdaj je is zadnji last bus, autobus to do. Gdaj je zadnji autobus do Kranja. A lot of the buses will stop running at around 10 p.m., 11 p.m., some even at 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. or even earlier, depends on your location. So instead of a bus, you will have a train available if you're lucky. If not, you will just have to find a place to sleep. Make sure you check when the last bus is leaving so you don't get stranded. Daje zadni autobus do and then if you're wondering which bus is going to your location, you ask Kateri, which autobus, bus, Pelje, goes, do, to. Kater autobus, Pelje, do, Kranja. Okay, let's move on to last but not least topic of this video. Making friends. Making friends in Slovenian is gonna be pretty easy if you're a foreigner. Everybody is super interested in people who are not from Slovenia because we are such a small country. There's only two million of us. You always keep running into the same people everywhere you go and pretty much everyone knows each other. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. So sometimes we are all just kind of sick of looking at the same old faces. So anybody that is new, we welcome them into our embrace and we ask a lot of questions. But if you want to be a good friend, you also have to ask questions the other person so they feel like you are actually interested in them. So these are the following things you can ask them. Kater je tvoj najljubši film? Kater... Which je is tvoj, your, najljubši, favorite, film, movie, or film. Najljubši, this is favorite, so it's one word, but it sounds like two. Najljubši, film. Which is your favorite color? Katera je, which is 
tvoja, your, najljubša, once again, favorite, barva, color. If you want to ask about their favorite books, it would be katera je tvoja najljubša knjiga. If you're wondering about their music taste, you can say kateri je tvoj najljubši band. Yes, band is technically not the most proper way of saying blah, 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 blah. Doesn't matter. Everyone will know what you think. Kateri je tvoj. So this is something that we already have gone through. Kateri je tvoj would be which is your najljubši, once again, favorite band. If you're wondering what they like to do in their free time, you say Kai Pochnesh, what do you do? V prostem chasu in free time. So what do you do in your free time would be Kai Pochnesh u prostem chasu. If you want to see if they are free on Friday, you can ask Ali Imash, do you have chas time u petek? On Friday. So you will see that every time you see V, which is V filmu, V petek, V Europi, it kind of becomes a little U. U petek, U filmu, U Europi. You don't have to break your tongue by saying Kaj počneš V petek? You just say Kaj počneš U petek? Or also if you are generally just wondering what they're doing that weekend, you would say Kaj počneš ta weekend. What are you doing this weekend? And if you want to invite them to a concert, you would say Ali Gresh Zmano, do you want to go na koncert? To a concert. So Ali Gresh Zmano na koncert, do you want to go to a concert with me? If you just met them, you can ask them Kje, where? Živiš? Ži Vish. So that would be where do you live? Kje živiš? Very simple. So you meet somebody and you're like, oh, kje živiš? It's the fastest way to find out where somebody lives. Not in a stalker way. No, don't just ask random people on the street. Kje živiš? Kje živiš? Kje živiš? Kje živiš? It will look weird. Or if you want to high five somebody, you say, they petko. They give. Petko, five. So give me five. De petko, poop. I don't know if anybody still uses that. It was a different time back then. We we gave high fives a lot, so it's hard to explain. But I thought I would include it. Last but not least, I just want to list all of the days in the week. So you know that if you're looking for an event on a certain day, Ponedeljak would be Monday, Torek is Tuesday, Sreda, Wednesday, Četrtek, Thursday, Petek, Friday, Sobota, Saturday, Nedelja, Sunday. So that was it for this video of basic Slovene phrases. This is all I could come up with to include in one video in the favor of not making it very, very long. So if it's something that I skipped that you so desperately want to know, or if you're traveling to Slovenia and you would like to know certain other topics that you didn't see in this video, comment down below and I will make a part two. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps just the overall vibe of the channel. And even if you don't have any suggestions, please leave a nice comment down below. So that'll be it. Thank you for watching. Stay awesome, stay positive, love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.